nothing happens in the earth without me. I am God's plan. Oh, you're arrogant. No, I'm scriptural. Stop being so religious. I am God's plan. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you offer them by saying words. My name is Andrew Hamstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Timothy chapter 6, 17. Charge them that are rich in this world. I like it. I know this is talking to me. Say, this is talking to me because I'm rich in this world. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who, the living God who, now he's going to describe who the living God is, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Is this in your Bible? Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy that's in your Bible you just read it I didn't make anything up there it is black and white well there is a method of knowing the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy there's a method of knowing him in a way that he does that or this wouldn't be in there is there a way to know the Living God so that he does that that he says he will do for you yeah there is that's what i'm telling you about tonight well he does this richly all things to enjoy if you get to know the living god he will give you richly all things to enjoy that's a lot of things all things is all things which means if he's going to give you richly all things he must have richly all things you don't give someone something you don't have is this right well he is the living God and he must have all things and he gives all things to you richly personally all things to enjoy okay now you don't have to follow me there's plenty of other preachers out there plenty of other ministries who will be saying things that are different than what i'm saying tonight certainly not this they're not saying what i'm saying and sometimes you have to make a differentiation between things i've had people come oh you're saying the exact same thing so i'm not saying the exact same thing other people are saying and most likely they're not saying the things that I'm saying I'm gonna help you out tonight but I can only give you what I have does that make sense I can give you what I have in fact I'm required to give you what I have and I've got a lot and if you do choose to follow me and hear what I'm saying I will give it to you can you hear that I will give it to you and you will therefore then have it first Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21 therefore let no man glory in men for all things are yours say all things are mine is this in your Bible we had living God giving you richly all things and now it says all things are yours whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas that means Peter or the world all things are yours the world or life or death or things present or things to come all are yours get it straight say all things are mine living God gives you richly all things and here it says 
all things are mine right you are a person all things are yours as a person he's giving you all things he's giving you all things you the person are being given all things getting this living God gives you richly all things this first Corinthians 3 21 said all things are yours and we know that God has to have them if he's going to give them to you first Corinthians chapter 12 let's look at verse 7 but the manifestation say the manifestation that means the outward show the demonstration the manifestation of the Spirit who's the Spirit the Holy Ghost is given to every man to profit with all other translations just say for good and profit doesn't mean doesn't mean to profit everybody else he's only gonna give you something that profits everybody else no he says all things are yours personally say mine personally but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to every man every man every man every man right personally every man personally the manifestation of the Holy Ghost is given to you personally for good and profit are you here people say this all the time they say God what's your plan what's your plan God God what's your plan what's your plan God you're my plan you're God's plan he has a plan you're his plan him giving you richly all things is his plan you are his plan you changed you prospered you healed you with your youth renewed you walking with him as God in the earth that's his plan in fact nothing happens in the earth without you say it nothing happens in the earth without me I am God's plan oh you're arrogant no I'm scriptural stop being so religious I am God's plan get that straight I am a new class of believer still saved still filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues but I am a new class of believer not because I got saved not because I got filled with the Holy Ghost and began speaking in other tongues still required not because of those things but because I do something that you don't do I worship the Holy Ghost I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today and I walk with you by saying words few will go here in worshiping the Holy Ghost as God the only God by the way who's in the earth the only God by the way who was sent from the Father and Jesus to be with you you might like to make up some other version of what the Bible says but that's what the Bible says Holy Ghost in you with you that's it and then Jesus will return where is he returning from he's returning from being with the Father few are willing to go here and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost let alone I worship you Holy Ghost only as the only God in the earth today why because this is not preached because preachers themselves don't do it and therefore they don't have this message they don't have this knowledge of what it is like to be on this side of that curtain and therefore they don't have the message but I do worship the Holy Ghost and I do have this message and it will take you someplace 
you've never been before I do something they don't do I have something they don't have I don't know if you can hear this or not I've got this all right Luke chapter 4 now this this is right after Jesus where right after the Holy Ghost came on Jesus he was baptized in the River Jordan by John the Baptist and the Holy Ghost came on him as a person say the Holy Ghost came on Jesus as a person and here we read Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness who is Jesus from this point being led by the Spirit the Holy Ghost right so Jesus was following the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost was leading Jesus Jesus was following the Holy Ghost being 40 days tempted the better word is tested of the devil you, you understand Jesus with the Holy Ghost was not tempted by anything the devil had the devil was literally testing Jesus frankly to see who he was verse 3 and the devil said unto him if thou be the Son of God if he's trying to find out who this guy is he knew the Messiah was coming he was trying to make sure who is is this the one we didn't we, uh, uh, is he the one he didn't know you know who the devil did know he knew the Holy Ghost he knew the Spirit of God he hated the Spirit of God but he knew who the Spirit of God was and he knew because the devil did nothing to Jesus up till this point but as soon as the Spirit of God was on Jesus say the Spirit of God was on Jesus then the devil showed up and said what's going on here uh, said unto him if thou be the Son of God command this stone that it be made bread now there is no temptation I don't care how hungry you are to eat a rock that wasn't the point of this eat these rocks the point was to see who Jesus was he was testing him and Jesus answered and said saying it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God verse 5 and the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time just like that verse 6 and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it if thou therefore wilt worship me all shall be thine this is what the devil is saying to Jesus right and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now we know that right after the Holy Ghost came on Jesus the devil showed up and tried to stop whatever was happening and the devil knew the Spirit of God but he didn't know Jesus and then he goes on and says if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine devil saying this to Jesus who now is with the Holy Ghost if you worship me the devil all will be thine this is an outright lie it's a lie Jesus knew it was a lie but you first must understand a few things about the devil why he would even say such a thing the devil wants to be like God Isaiah 14 14 we won't go there but out of his own mouth he said I will be like the Most High so the devil wants to be like God and he knows and he hates the Spirit of God wants to be like him but knows him and hates him so if he wants to be like him he's gonna say things that makes himself look like or act like 
the most high God that he's not and never will be so when you hear him saying things like this to Jesus he's testing him not only to see who Jesus is but to see if Jesus knows who he isn't so when he says to Jesus if you worship me all shall be thine it's an outright utter lie he's acting pretending and deceiving if he can people or Jesus into thinking that he is like the Most High God which he's not but God the Most High actually does those things and has those things devil lies about it but God actually does it and has it say devil lies about it but God does it and has it all things shall be thine you remember how we started this out devil saying oh if you worship me all shall be thine Jesus corrected him and said no if you worship the Living God all shall be thine I hope I'm getting this across remember first Timothy 6 17 living God gives you richly all things to enjoy and all things are yours those came from God the Most High the actual Most High God say actual Most High God not fake Most High God well Jesus corrected the devil with the word thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve living God gives you richly all things to enjoy it, it's one way or the other if the living God how we started this out has the ability to give all things to enjoy then the devil can't have the ability to give all things to enjoy well after this interaction with the devil Jesus renamed Satan calling him the father of lies because he's a liar say this living God gives me richly all things to enjoy is that the devil no living God gives me richly all things to enjoy if I worship the living God say that if I worship the living God he gives me richly all things to enjoy that's what Jesus was saying Satan said if you worship me bow down and worship me all these things will be yours Jesus said no you worship the Lord your God and him only do you serve why because all things will be yours if you worship him devil trying to be like the Most High God most most high God being the Most High God are you getting this if I worship him all shall be mine thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well there's only one God in the earth today and his name is the Holy Ghost look for a different one if you want but he's the only one that's in the earth today and thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve he's the one that was sent from the Father and Jesus to be with us and we serve him can you get that if God the Father and Jesus sent the Holy Ghost to be with you who are you serving yes the Father and Jesus by proxy but you're serving the Holy Ghost who's with you does that make sense well who must you worship if you're only serving him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who do you suppose Jesus was talking about in this verse when he said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou was he talking about himself I think not John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him say they that worship him God is a spirit and they that worship him Jesus said this God is a spirit and they that worship him he said thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve and then look down at verse 18 and we see the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me who anointed Jesus the Spirit of the Lord or literally the Spirit Lord anointed me so Jesus is following Jesus is obeying 
jesus is serving the spirit lord that's upon him because he anointed him thou shalt worship the lord your god in him only 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 shalt thou serve jesus was serving the holy ghost the spirit lord and he said you would worship him so if you're a disciple of jesus this is what you would be doing say if i'm a disciple of jesus this is what i should be doing get mad at me if you want but this is where i live i worship and serve the spirit lord and i'm a disciple of jesus by doing so i often say i'm not going back and i'm not talking about going back to the world this is what people think i'm not talking about going back to the world and living like a sinner when i say i'm not going back i'm not talking about going back to the world duh i'm talking about not going back to regular christianity regular christianity didn't bring me here it stopped short obeying what jesus said to do thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve brought me here worshiping the spirit lord my god and him only serving brought me here and all things are mine all things are his and i worship him and all things shall be mine say all things are his so you got to get that first all things are his and by worshiping him all things are mine i worship him and all things are given unto me i want you to say this is what the holy ghost told me to tell you he said i want you to say this all things are mine say it all things are mine i worship you holy ghost and all things are mine <laughs> i hope you can hear that say i worship you holy ghost and all things are mine i worship you holy ghost all things are mine when you do this things change daniel chapter 7 verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where's under the whole heaven on earth under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him he must have it to give and when we worship him he gives it to us all things shall be thine through worshiping him can you see why the devil has put such a kibosh on worshiping the Holy Ghost when you worship the Holy Ghost all things shall be thine I worship you Holy Ghost all things are mine I worship you Holy Ghost all things are mine and when you do that things change and you be like me you won't go back why would you go back first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy who is the living god the holy ghost god in the earth today he gives us me richly all things to enjoy well i looked into this a little bit you might get a kick out of this the word gives right but in the living god who gives well the first it's a, like a it's a compound word the first part of it is para part of the word where we get the word comforter from he gives alongside meaning he is called alongside he's with you that's what it means living god who's with you giving you say with me giving me he comes moves in with you and gives you are you here gives you richly all things and then he said to me if it doesn't exist i create it 
all things means all things see you're too limited in what you're thinking all things is if it doesn't exist this is what it means living god gives us richly all things and if the all things doesn't exist he will create it that's the god we worship that's the god we walk with that's the god we serve holy ghost i thank you that this message has greatly impacted the lives of those who hear and they are beginning to move up with you into the greater things of you the spirit of god to know you to serve you to worship you and walk with you as god in the earth today and fulfill everything that we're called to fulfill in this end time day we give you all the glory and your glory shall cover the earth we worship you in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today i walk with you by saying words and i thank you that your glory is beginning to excel me in the earth far beyond where i thought i could ever go it's happening to me now i'm blessed i'm prosperous i'm wealthy i'm healed and my youth is renewed i give you all the glory and all the praise in jesus name amen ghost your god in the earth to 